sure to bring you all the fact. This is KTN News. he has been doing to keep himself busy and uh, dealing with that extra time. I know he had done guitar a little bit before, uh, but uh, how is this going? How do you find the lessons coming up now? Uh, progressive. I'm progressing um, a lot in guitar now that I have a lot of extra time. Okay. Yeah. And, and what have you learned so far? A couple chords. Mm -hmm. Not very many. Uh, but I've only been playing a couple weeks. Um, so I think now during the next couple of months I should learn a few more chords, maybe a couple songs. Okay, so just maybe run us through the chords that you've learned so far. Uh, so we have G major, we have a D, we have an E minor, E major, A major, and, sorry, A minor and A major. Okay, yeah. and I know I've not, you know, you know, paid for any teacher to teach you on music. How have you been learning? Uh, there's an app I got called Yzisha, uh, and also YouTube. Okay, yeah. so literally everything you've learned, you've learned via YouTube. Yeah, via okay. YouTube and apps, yeah. Okay, and how, how progressive is that as compared to having a teacher? Because I know at some point you had a music teacher when you were very young. Uh, but would you, how would you compare learning from uh, an app and learning from, you know, a physical teacher? Oops, I need to move. Yeah. Yeah, so I said that, well, they're more or less the same because with an app you have structured programs and they'll move you this, at this, well, you need to be accountable for your time also because there's no one pushing you to do it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's more or less the same because you have structured lessons and you'll move from again, from beginner, intermediate to advanced. Okay, and what would you aspire to do now with your guitar, you know, eventually? What is it, do you want to join a rock band, or open a rock? <laughs> uh, play my favorite songs. Pre yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay, and this would just be for your entertainment? Yeah, for my entertainment, yeah. Okay, any advice you'd give to anybody out there who maybe who has always wanted to learn an instrument and maybe is just lazy to do it? This is probably the most time you'll ever have to learn anything, so. I think you'd make use of it. You should make good use of it. Okay. Yeah. And in terms of uh, looking for a specific way of learning online, how did you go about that? Um, I got it from, again, a friend had said, uh, recommended it to me. They said that um, if I wanted to learn guitar, there's a couple of apps I should get on Play Store. Mm -hmm. So I did. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, yeah, generally that's, that's it. So maybe just uh, any songs that maybe you want to play? I don't know any yet. Oh, you so don't know any yet. You're, yeah. still, you're still learning the yeah, chords. still learning the okay. chords, yeah. How long do you think it's going to take you before you get to a point where you're, you're comfortable to play songs and just, you know, enjoy your music? I guess it depends on what song I want to play, because there's some really basic ones and also pretty hard ones. Mm -hmm. But maybe for a song, like a basic one, I, even by next week I should have something. Okay. Yeah. All right. Ah, super. And um, yeah, that's Jerome and his guitar. And like I'd mentioned, Shalom, I think, has gone to, you know, prepare and uh, show us what he can do on wheelies. So I'll hand over back to you in studio. And uh, Benjamin Zulu, I don't know, are you learning an instrument as well? <laughs> yes, Michael, I just told Tricks of Air that I used to love keyboard. And sometimes I would play it way into the night. And I hope, uh, Michael, your boys are managing to sleep. Because the way I can see they are passionate, their instruments, they can hide. We used to hide. When people go to bed, we sneak out. <laughs> you go back to your instruments. So I, I also love the instruments, too. Mm -hmm. All right, so, so I'll hand over back to studio, and as you continue, we'll come back and I'll show you, well, Shalom will show us what he can do or what he has mastered and what he's doing with his time with what he loves to do. All right, Benjamin, you were telling us about some of these triggers and you were painting a very interesting picture of how we, are use, we have been using work as a coping mechanism uh, to avoid certain troubles and now we are being forced to look at them head on. So this might be one of the triggers of domestic conflict. I, I, I'll just hand it over to you to keep on giving us analysis of why these problems are cropping up right now. Thank you, Tricks. I was saying some people are operating under the illusion that mm. suppose life is supposed to be peaceful, that when you're in love you should not quarrel, mm. there should be no disagreement. And, and, and I was calling out ladies asking you not to be 
many of you maintain hope, hope. false hope, yes. and you avoid conflict to all extent. And also men are, men are affected by this. Mm -hmm. Some of you just avoid disagreements, so they bend backwards, you bend backwards a deal, you have lost all authority to correct anything in that relationship. One lady told me that my mother-in-law has been interfering with our decisions here, and we cannot do anything, and I tell my, my husband to tell her to pull back and give her space. The husband, my husband turns against me and tells me, we family yet. You are here trying to divide us. Mm -hmm. And I told her, my sister, that sounds like a small problem, but it's a tip of the, it's, it's a tip of the iceberg. Right. It's a huge problem underneath. What your mother-in-law is doing is doing a, a, a power, a power play to, 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 gain, to gain domination and authority over your family. Mm -hmm. If you don't control this, the whole iceberg will sink your marriage, you sink the ship. Mm -hmm. This is the time to make decisions. You know, Ladies are afraid of rocking the boat of their marriage. They yeah. want peace. Mm -hmm. But I want to tell you that peace that is not based on truth is fake peace. Uh -huh. There comes a time to have difficult conversations. So number two, what this corona is doing, why violence is going up is because people have bottled up problems. They have avoided <laughs> talking issues mm -hmm. and they were looking the other way, using children and work. You know, I'm busy with it. I'm busy with work, yeah. busy with the kids. Now yeah. there's no busy going to where to drop kids. They're not being <laughs> dropped in. They're there. And yes. then <laughs> if it's work, Yes, you could be going to work or you could be working from home and you're busy, but at seven, things are locking down. Mm -hmm. We are still at home. So uh, maybe this is the time now to resolve what has been piling and piling and piling. And instead of resolving it with anger, and I want to invite men to consider this. Most men fight viol with force, but women fight with words. Manu me aneza kukuchapa na mkono, lakini kuna manu mkianeza kukuchapa na mdomo, hauta sao, the rest of your life. <laughs> so sometimes you hear, sometimes you hear there was a beating and somebody was beaten, but it was really a fight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The man was told words that cut him to the mm -hmm. core. Uh, well, I told you about uh, the funny where the lady went to Muganga, um, the doctor was Kenyaji. Right. You know, when I say Muganga, I talk as Zanzibar, Makitui. Now, welcome by the I, I checked. Don't yeah. come there looking for Muganga. Anyway, this one went for Muganga. Now, I said, "Ma, but I'm sana. Give me medication." Okay. So he, she was given some liquid in a bottle. A kambiwa. When the, he comes, put a little in your mouth and serve him with it. Don't swallow it. That will prevent you to protect you. It's very magical. So she <laughs> used it and after it, uh, 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 one month she returns. Doctor, give me more. I've not mm -hmm. been beaten in all those days. Mm -hmm. And he said, oh, okay, 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 okay. Now I will not give you more. It was just water. It was not medicine. <laughs> when you put it in your mouth, you don't talk. So you don't provoke him and he won't beat you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm not saying all beatings come from the woman provoking, but a large percentage is the women who know how to rub him the wrong way, how to pierce him where it matters, how to provoke and provoke, and all those kind of so words. So Benjamin, the thing would be then the conflict uh, or rather the words are also coming from a certain action so it seems to be like a vicious cycle this happens this person says this then the violence come up then someone will say something else and then it keeps going on and on so this means it is a problem of knowing how to address our concerns using the right words and using uh, the right words and also not our hands. That's so very true. conflict resolution is where this is leading to, right? Both for a man or a woman. And it is important to note that there are some men who actually suffer very uh, horrible uh, domestic violence and have injur injuries that cannot even be uh, described using words. So could we get to now how to resolve some of our issues, how to bring it out if you are unhappy with something without jabbing someone? Uh, in your language, when you're talking, when you're trying to bring up a difficult conversation, avoid these words. Avoid always mm -hmm. and never. You always offend me. You never listen to me. Avoid always and never. Mm -hmm. Instead, replace it with, I wish you would listen to me more. Right. I wish you reduce mm -hmm. doing this. Instead what's, of using what's, always what's, and never. Yeah, what's the problem with these words? Why because are they triggers? they are global. Okay. And they are judgmental. Uh-huh. And they show that I am not considered and I don't, and I don't think. Mm -hmm. And also avoid the word it's over and avoid using the word divorce. Mm -hmm. It's over between us. I've heard many people tell me, I used it during a moment of anger, I apologize later, but he's still pulling away. Yeah. Because if, you can, if that word can come up when we're in a conflict, it tells me our relationship has no future. Yeah. It is not stable. Mm -hmm. If when we disagree, you think of quitting, it tells me we are not together. Okay. The other thing is, avoid asking a person what kind of woman are you or what kind of man are you. <laughs> 
Th that's another language of calling a person stupid. Now, the reason they're calling a person stupid is because you are insulting the intelligence. Now, intelligence is the most sensitive part, especially for men's ego. After intelligence is sexuality, in that order. But if you call a person a, a stupid, what kind of man are you? Mm -hmm. You are not one of them. Don't do that. Because you might later apologize, but the injury will remain. So where, if you have to resolve a conflict, and ladies, I also ask you to stop using this word, because it sounds like a court summons. When you say, we need to talk. <laughs> so, Benjamin, but then these are things that people say when they're in the heat of the moment. So, I'd like you to tell us when you're feeling aggrieved, angry, or uh, uh, because you, there's a form of injustice in your mind that has happened, what should you do? Because sometimes when you talk immediately, that's when these words come out. So, what should someone do when they feel the anger, the temperature going up, the mercury rising? What should they do in that moment? Avoid talking when you are heated up. Mm -hmm. Wait a little bit, you're cool a little bit. But you're isolated. You see, that's the problem. You're in that little house, the two of you with the family. This, the, the, okay, tricks, yeah. we are together physically, but yeah. you can isolate emotionally. You okay. can cool down emotionally on your own. Mm -hmm. Remember, we are, not man we are not forcing you to talk. You can say, uh, I need to work on something, guys. Pretend you are busy on your phone, your laptop, to cool down. Right. Then when you're cooled down, choose the mo mode of communication that works for you. Yes. Don't cool down and sweep things under the carpet. Remember, that's another problem altogether. Okay. You must bring up what you are not happy with. Mm -hmm. You can choose texting. You can chat when you're in the same sitting room, in the same house. It's okay. Mm -hmm. I wonder why you... If it's a, it's a, you choose the kind of communication that you will not lose control. Okay. The problem, the, the, the advantage of chatting and texting because you can delete words. Mm. You can choose your words. Sometimes if, after you write a long message, don't send it, save it first. Uh -huh. Read it after an hour. See if you still want to send it. Okay. Many times you realize you were overdoing it. Mm -hmm. So number one is don't talk when you're in the heat of anger. You're likely to lose your words. Mm -hmm. Cool down first. Control yourself a little bit. Number two, choose a mode of communication. You can still choose to talk if, that, if you, you are sure to manage the conversation. It will not get out of hand. Uh, the other thing is, consider how your partner is. If you know your wife has the capaci capacity, kunamoja, one of them drew a plate of ugali at the man. You know, a plate of ugali, maybe he has the whole ugali on his face. It's, it's shameful for a man, it's very embarrassing. Yeah. If you know your partner has the capacity to throw things, you can go outside and call them, talk on phone, because they will not throw things at you on uh -huh. phone. Manage how you know they can react. You can move out to the balcony and make a phone call. Yes. <laughs> yeah, this and then they're wondering, why are you calling me? Oh, yeah, yeah, in fact, I'm calling you. <laughs> Let us talk about this, you yes. know. And also, if you realize the two of you now are trying to grow, I, I'm very happy because there are couples who have contacted me. I'm walking them through improving their relationship. Mm -hmm. You don't have to wait for a crisis. If you okay. think there's an area that needs, maybe you recently got a baby, some changes have happened in your relationship, you yeah. started a new family, or your income increased. One okay. of you got a better job. Things okay. got better. Mm -hmm. Or you are trying to move on to another country. If there is a change in your relationship, you need to be assisted to adjust. Right. Life is like a journey. And when you are making a sharp bend, you also need to adjust how you are seated, you know, mm -hmm. your new position. Mm -hmm. If you are growing as a couple, you need to adjust as you grow. You need to adjust as you grow. If you think you are growing apart or there is a problem, don't wait for, for the, don't wait for it to blow up, you know, get out of control. Contact a counselor, a life coach, discuss it. That right. conversation can solve everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And now you, previously before we went on the break, you did talk about leaning in rather than being in the corner and staring and wondering why you can't go out anymore and feeling sad so could you tell us about how couples or rather maybe if it's the man or the woman that's really busier can actually lean into the family activities and be a part of it rather than being you know brooding number one point. warning if you're a lady and you're a ceo you're working a corporate job like tricks my friend here <laughs> and when you go home you're supposed to be a wife and a mother switching from that lady who lady boss boss lady who works and create response everywhere and she's working with the shoes that have a presence and when she appears everybody says yes madam yes madam we've already responding you have power here you have a presence here you have authority you're executive but when you go at home you're supposed to be a mother a wife mm -hmm. In fact, the word is submissive, and yet they're submitted to you at the workplace. You're supposed to submit. You need to learn consciously how to make the switch. That's right. why most well-to-do women don't strike the balance well. I want to ask you, get in touch with somebody who can, who can help you wear the mask, how to change the masks. Mm -hmm. When you leave work, remove the mask. Mm -hmm. When you leave home, wear the mask. You're supposed to wear masks at different places. Don't damage one area of your life. Number two, for men, some of us, we have been so away from our families that we don't know which kid sleeps at what time, <laughs> wears what. Yes. There's a dad who wished the girl 19th mm -hmm. birthday and she was, she was 20. So he said, happy 19th birthday. She corrected back. Sorry, daddy, I'm 20. Okay. And then he replied with, okay. <laughs> So, I mean, yeah. You don't do that. Mm -hmm. Don't be so, so I'm asking men to start going to the kitchen now. 
Can okay. you drop those mm -hmm. kasumba, yes. you know, those stereotypes that men don't go? What if everybody is not there? Will you die of hunger? Yeah. What if people are unwell? Can you? Mm -hmm. You're supposed to be helped. Your wife is your helper, mm -hmm. not a takeover. Yes. You're the one supposed to be cooking. She's only helping. You're supposed to be cleaning. She's only helping. Mm -hmm. If she has cleaned and she's asking you to help her carry the stuff upstairs for the, the hanging lines or somewhere, right. please don't be too egotistical. This mm -hmm. professor will arrived home in his Prado and he's also a CEO. But when he comes home, you know, that, that, that presence, the daughter, three-year-old daughter, is waiting for him. Yes. You know? And he realizes he has to be a father here, a friend, to play. Yes. I want to ask you men, learn now how to be present in the day-to-day -day life of your, of, your, of your family. Remove this ego. Ego is another baptized yes. trick. We use Benjamin, ego. Benjamin, and that's where we're going to go after we link up with Mike because there's a certain vulnerability that most people are afraid of and when they're putting on certain airs or brooding of uh, removed from the rest of the family, it's because they don't want to be vulnerable. So we're going